Hi everyone. Here is a video that I am doing regarding propagating an African violet plant. So on the right is the plant that I started with. It usually looks a little healthier than this. But anyway, I took some cuttings from this plant, which is what you see here. I have some others, but I didn't want to do all of them. Right now, this one is the one that's moving the quickest. And as you can see, I took these three leaves. There was a leaf here. It was a fail, <laughs> epic fail. But I still did get something from the other three. And as you can see, they are basically going in right now. Um, there's some back there that's trying to hide. Like I'm not gonna see, I see. But a rare, error, error, uh. The fact is, is that, yeah. Uh, things is popping. Things is happening up in here. I am very happy with this. I'm hoping, what are we in June right now? I'm hoping that within a month, I'll start to see some blooming going on. I usually have a lot more flowers on this plant, but um, I don't know. Lately, I just haven't been that happy with me. We're having a, a disagreement right now. We're not in our best place. We're not in our finest moment because usually I have about 15 or more flowers. And right now I have five and four are going to say farewell and go to flower heaven. So I'm gonna have to do some pinching here and see what's going on. But in the meantime, I need to do some cutting more. I, 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 this thing is growing faster than I expected because I cut this down so much. Because I did, like I said, I got these three leaves. I did, I had four in here though. And I cut more. And uh, I feel like this thing grew back really fast. And I'm not that great at figuring out how to cut it to make it look all so pretty like when you go in the stores. That's why I don't own a nursery. But um, I'm going to figure it out because I need to cut some, I think, in the center. Cut these off. So that the flowers can be like right here and then have the leaves all around it when i see long ones like this i know it's time to say oh let's make you a plant but anyway i digress so here is what it's looking like this big gap is getting on my nerves but with time hopefully when the when the other leaves grow in, because they seem to all be bunching right here. If I had that other one here, it would be bunching more there too. But again, moving on. So hopefully with time, like a month, maybe more. I think I'm reaching with a month. But uh, I will see some blooms like this plant on the right, the mother of this one this is the child this is the parent all right so like i said this is from me propagating my african violet plant it's doing well my soil is moist which is what needs to happen with this plant the soil needs to be kept moist but remember do not overwater this plant because it will rot the roots and then bye bye to your plants so you keep it moist. I feel like it needs maybe a little water to it, but pretty much moist. It feels like it's starting to dry. And uh, keep it in the sun. I missed my other plants, but I don't miss th these because this plant doesn't take well to water on its leaves. So I don't do it. I was making the mistake of doing that. Not on purpose, just not paying attention to all the other plants around it and spray 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 and then there's a bunch of water droplets all on this leaf or all on 
his plan, I should say. And then it wasn't looking good at all. Uh, I, I don't want to say that this yellow spot is from that, but it really doesn't look good when you get a bunch of water on it. It's just, it's not pretty. So again, remember with this African violet plant to keep the soil moist, not soggy, moist, and give it a lot of light and like bright light and um, I lost my thought but pretty much you know what I'm trying to say because I said it already <laughs> okay thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your day make sure you like and subscribe take care everybody bye bye